Hey guys, so I have some new things to show you from Target and Walgreens. If you have not been to Target lately, to the makeup section, you might want to take a look because it's all different. They have rearranged everything, they have eliminated certain brands, and they have added others, and it's completely different now. I was there yesterday and I picked up some things and I had to really reel it in because there was so many things that I wanted to get that weren't there before and um, so I got a whole bunch of things and put them in my cart and then I looked at everything that was there and was like no this is too much so took some things and put them back on the shelf but um, so I'm going to show you what I bought today and a lot of these things I use to do my makeup today so I can tell you whether or not I liked them. So yeah, let's just get started then. Okay, so one of the new brands that they have now at Target that they did not have before is Soap and Glory. And I have, I have a lipstick by Soap and Glory that I bought at Ulta. Not every Ulta has Soap and Glory. But I went to an Ulta one time that did, so I bought a lipstick and I like it. So I thought that since Target has Soap and Glory now, I would try another product. Okay, when it comes to correctors um, for dark circles, I have found that a pink corrector works best for me. I put a pink corrector under my eye and then I do my foundation and then I put a concealer on top of that and and still it's it looks bad because these aren't really dark circles so much as they are indentations in my face and I've, I've talked about this before so I'm not gonna bore you to death but I wanted to try another pink corrector because I have a bunch of them so I bought the one from Soap and Glory and it's called Kick-Ass Just Bright tired skin concealer and it's just a huge pink concealer it almost leans a little purple and I had high hopes for this but it really didn't do anything as a matter of fact it didn't really work as well as the pink correctors that I already have and I think it's because of the color it also wasn't quite as creamy as I thought it was going to be when I swatched it on my hand, it felt really uh, moisturizing and soft, but then when I applied it to my face, it didn't seem to go on as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it again another day, and this time I'm going to use a different application method, but yeah, I don't think this ended up being a good idea to try this out because it was $9, so... It's you get a lot of product in there, but if it doesn't work the way I want it to, then it's kind of a waste of money. So that was sort of a fail for me, but I'll try it again another way. Um, okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you, the next few things I'm going to show you is from e.l.f. e.l.f. has dramatically increased the amount of space, shelf space that they have at Target. Target got rid of New York Color. Oh, and by the way, the area where Soap and Glory is now used to be Pacifica. So Pacifica is gone. And then New York Color is gone, and they expanded the e.l.f. section. Does anybody remember the mineral pearls that I showed you in a video? Um, it was the natural version, and I was using it like as a brightener and bronzer on my face. Well, they have two different formulas. This is the other formula. Oh, and they have they have those now that I was just talking about, the natural mineral pearls. And what these are is, to me, they're like a dupe for the Guerlain meteorites. And um, they come in this container, and they are colored balls. And they come in a little plastic uh, wrapper thing and you just open it up and dump the balls in the container. Now they have a little puff thing that comes with it and I used the puff today and I didn't like the way 
it went on at all. I felt like it went on uh, too strong doing it that way. So I definitely prefer using a brush and not using the puff that comes with it. And what I did with my other container that I've been using right along is I would take the puff out, throw it away, <laughs> And then I would shake this a little bit so that some of the dust like would come off of the balls. And then I would just use what dust there was inside the cap. And, you know, depending on how much product you want, you would just shake it a tiny little bit or you would shake it a lot depending on how much you want to use. And if you apply it with a large fluffy brush, uh, I would say like a bronzer brush, then um, this particular formula is for skin balancing. And I can tell by looking at the residue from the powder, see it shows up pretty much green. So this is going to counteract redness in your skin. So I put a lot of it on my chin and I definitely noticed a difference in how much redness was on my chin and then I also put it on my nose and then around this area basically this area right here is where I get my redness so my redness is much better than it used to be I only get a little bit now and it used it used to be really bad but since I've lost weight that problem has uh, gotten a lot better probably because I probably had high blood pressure then um, but anyways, yeah, so now they have the mineral pearls there. So, yeah, you can either do the skin balancing one or you can do the bronzing, brightening one. But uh, these are really fun to play with and I enjoy them. Uh, let's see. It says on the back, provides a glistening sheer wash of color designed to complement any skin tone and create a flawless finish. Six multicolored pearls blend together to help mattify skin. Well, that's not what I would use it for. I would use it to counteract redness because it's definitely, there's no doubt about it, it's definitely green when you look at the color of it. But you can use it to just set your foundation if you have a redness problem, and that would work as well. So they have those there now. And then e.l.f. is re-promoting their baked highlighters. Now, I already had the one in Moonlight, and I thought I would pick up the other two, which is Pink Diamonds and Blush Gems. They come in these little boxes, and I have on Blush Gems today. So that is Blush Gems, and it's a... Oh, I'm going to say it's a golden rose or a rosy gold, but that's what I have on today, and it's not, there we go, can you see when I do that, it's, look right, right in that spot. So Kathleen Lights was talking about these the other day in one of her videos, and she was saying that she took this metal scraper thing and she scraped off the whole surface of her moonlight pearls highlighter and she said that once you get past that surface layer it's like a completely different product and she loves it I haven't done that yet but I think I'm gonna try it just to see just to see how that is because if you look at the surface of it now it has almost like a glaze and then within the glaze, it has shimmer. And I guess underneath that is just um, more of a, a flatter, matter product. It doesn't, you know, have as much shimmer. And then the glazy part is gone. So I'm kind of curious about that. So anyways, let me swatch this for you so you can see... See, so it really doesn't swatch that great or show up that well, but I guess if you go past that top layer. So yeah, I'm going to try that because it isn't that impressive if you just look at the surface part. And then this is Pink Diamonds, 
a beautiful, beautiful light pink. So yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's a pretty, pretty glow, subtle glow, but yeah, I'll have to try that out, like she said, because I'm really curious to see what's underneath there. So I'll probably just do it to one just to see how it goes. And the price has increased on those since they've uh, re-promoted them. They used to be $3, now they're $4. So then another thing that I saw is their clay eyeshadow palettes. And... I remember when these first came out and I saw them on the website, I was really curious about them, but I didn't feel like placing an order at the time, and I just thought, well, you know, maybe they'll come to stores at some point. Well, they're in stores, and all the colors were there. I think there are four choices, and I had a really tough time deciding between the one I got, and then the neutral one. There was one that was like a neutral nudes type one, but then there was this one. This is Saturday Sunsets. And this is sort of a combination of nudes with a pop of color. And here's the little case that it comes in. And this was, let's see. Uh, six dollars for this palette and you get you get five eyeshadows and you do get a mirror flip it around so you won't have to look at the mirror but here's what you get in here so you get a you get a beige and that's going to be your highlight or you could also use it as um, like a base and then Here's your crease color. It's just a nice matte light brown. And then this is what I used for a liner. It's a sparkling uh, cross between purple and burgundy, I would say. And then uh, this is what I used on my lids. And this is a... It's a gold. Yeah, that is definitely a gold. And then here's the, the pop of color. The pop of color is very subtle, though. It's like a... It's 11 o'clock. It's like a mauve pink, I would say. And they all have shimmer in them, except for the matte brown crease color. And the amount of shimmer is different in every single one. So some of them only have a little bit of shimmer, and some of them have a lot of shimmer. I wasn't really sure what to think about this palette initially because it's it's a clay eyeshadow palette, okay? And when I think of clay, I think dry, and they are. They're a dry, powdery formula. And I thought, oh, these, these aren't going to work, you know? But I really want to try it anyway. And how they work and the way they work best would depend on what you were using for tools and how you would be using them. I can definitely see somebody buying this and getting disgusted with it and returning it. But if you use it the right way with the right tools, it's, um, it's doable. So that's what I have on my eyes today. And I don't think that gold shade that's on my lids is that great of a color for me. But... I could use this a different way next time, and I think I could make this work better. But yeah, that gold isn't really doing anything for me. But yeah, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll do a separate video sometime next week and show you what I'm talking about as far as like what tools to use and how to use them and what method to use to make this palette work because I can see people getting frustrated about not being able to make that work. Okay, and the last thing I got from Target is a lipstick. And this is by the brand Essence. Essence has this line of lipsticks now called Matte, Matte, Matte. And this is what I have on my lips right now. This is number two, and it's called Perfect Match. 
Oh, ow. Oh, that was my bad elbow. I broke my elbow a couple of years ago and I just whacked it hard on the table. Um, so this is perfect match. Let me hold it on this side so you can see it better. And I love this color. And I would describe this as maybe a brownish rose. Hmm. But it's what I have on right now. It doesn't go on as strong of a color as when you look at it. Let me swatch it on my hand so you can really get the, the true color of it. But yeah, I guess the reason why it doesn't show up this strongly on my lips is because of my lip color. Because my lip color combined with this equals this. So it gets a bit a bit muted on me. But I love this and I feel like this color would go with just about any kind of look that you wanted. And it's, it is a matte formula, obviously it's called matte, matte, matte. But um, it applies really easily and you can build it. When I first put it on, I was like, wow, this is really sheer. But you can build it up and make it a little bit um, more intense if you want to. And it's not going to get cakey or do anything crazy. But yeah, I really, really like this color. The other colors are either brighter or darker. And there aren't a ton of colors in this line. I think there were only four. But yeah, I hadn't seen this line of lipsticks before at um, Target. I think I had seen them at Ulta, but for some reason the Essence display at Ulta is always trashed. Everything is all swatched and opened and messed up and it it's not like that as much for some reason at Target. Oh, it could be because they just redid the whole section, so it probably won't stay nice like it is now. Okay, so that's what I got at Target. And then I just got a couple things at Walgreens. I got another color of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks, the matte lipsticks. I got Coral Corruption. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can pull this color off because it's actually a little bit deeper in person than it is on camera. And I'm going to swatch that right next to that lipstick. So there's the, the Wet n Wild one. So yeah, I'm not sure if I can pull that off. Because it's pretty deep and it's pretty warm. But we shall see. I have been so drawn to peach, coral, burgundy, and nudes and browns lately. Um, it's funny how you go through phases where you just really, really want to wear certain colors. I don't know why that is. But anyways, I have most of these now. These are really nice. I've talked about them many, many times before. They're five bucks and they are a real bargain because the formula is fantastic. The packaging is very nice. It's a, a really great liquid lipstick from the drugstore if you're into matte liquid lipsticks. And the only other thing that I got at Walgreens is I bought the Kiss Brush On Strip Lash Adhesive. And this is the clear one. And the reason why I got this is because I wanted to try a different lash glue other than the one that I've been using. I always use the Duo uh, it's just called Duo Brush On Adhesive in clear slash white. This one has aloe in it. And this one is also um, hypoallergenic, formaldehyde free, contact lens friendly. And I know I read somewhere else on here it said latex free. Because I'm allergic to latex so I can't use any lash glues that have latex in them. But... I want to see how this compares to the one that I usually use by Duo. The price was exactly the same as the Duo, so I figured why not. I just want to show you the container. 
So that's what it looks like. Strip lash adhesive and then it has aloe and a little symbol on there. Formaldehyde free, latex free. Yeah, so that was um, $5.29 and that's exactly what I pay for the duo. So yeah, I just was curious to see how this would be. All right, you guys, um, that is it for today. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.